Okay, welcome back to our grade 9 maths lesson. I am Mrs. Rhea, your grade 9 maths teacher. In today's lesson, we are going to look at distribution of data. And here are the scores of the students in class A, the set of scores of students in class B, and the set of scores of students in class C. For two, we have four students who have scored two. Okay. We have uh, six students who have scored three. This is what the graph looks like for the students in class A. Now, let's see how it is going to be affected by the mean, the mode, and the median. Okay. To calculate the mean, we know that the mean or the average is equal to the sum of frequency divided by the number of scores. Sum of the frequency divided by the number of scores. If we look at the total number of students, we can get the total number of students by adding this. 4 plus 6 plus 6 plus 8 plus 6 plus 6 plus 4 gives us 40. How many scores are there? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 scores. So, our mean is 5.7. Now, we can also find out from the graph or even from the table what the median is. The median would be the middle or 20th score. Okay, 20th score is the median. So the median is 5. Median is equals to 5. That is the 20th score. The mode is the score that occurs most frequent. Okay, if you look at the scores here, 8 is the highest score, and that 8 corresponds to 5. Therefore, the mode is 5. Now, if I am going to draw a line, which is called a frequency polygon, we'll see what this distribution looks like. Okay? I'll join these points here. The dots at the center of the graph. Okay, if you look at this, this is a graph which is evenly distributed, which means that we have equal number of students above the mean and equal number of students below the mean. So this is a symmetric distribution. Okay, symmetric distribution, which is evenly distributed. Now, let's look at class B. We have five students scoring one. Okay. For two, we have seven students scoring two. Now, look at this graph. You can see that this graph is not the same as the graph for class A. Let's see why this is not the same as the graph of class A. Okay, I'm going to work out the mean of this uh, distribution here. So mean or the average is equals to 
the sum of frequency. Again, the sum of frequency is equal to the total number of students, and we have 40. So that's 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 6 plus 6 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 gives us 40. Over the number of scores, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 scores, so our mean is equal to 5. 40 divided by 8 is 5. Now, let's look at the median score. The median score would be the middle score. So median in this case, because we have the same number of students, 40 divided by 2 will give us 20. Therefore, the median will always be the, or is the 20th score. Okay, 20th score. I'm going to add from this course, 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 plus 8 is 20. So the 20th score is 3. Therefore, the median, median score is 3. Say median is equal to 3. The mode is the score with the highest frequency. So from here, we can see that the mode of class B again is 3. Now, if I am going to draw this, join these dots here, let's see what the graph is going to look like. Okay. Okay, we can see that the graph is leaning to the left, okay, or it is stretched to the right. The highest score is to the right, and therefore it is leaning to the left, and this is a positively skewed graph. Positively skewed graph or distribution where the mean is greater than the median and the mode, okay? Okay, now let's look at the last class, which is class C, okay? For score two, we have one student who have scored two, okay? One student scoring two. And then we have um, four students who have scored three, Four students scored three, okay. Five students scored four, okay. Five students scored four. Okay, um, six students scored five, okay. Six students scored five. Eight students scored six. Eight students scored six. That's here. Eight students here scoring six. Nine students scored seven. Okay. Nine. That's nine here. Nine students scored seven. And seven students scored eight. Okay. Seven students scored Okay. Now, let's work out the mean of this distribution here. The mean or the average will be equal to the sum of the scores, uh, sum of the uh, frequencies, which is the total number of students. 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9 plus 7 gives us 40. Okay. 40 over the number of scores, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 scores. Okay, so that gives us, again, 5.7 as our mean. Let's work out what the median is. Okay, the median, because we have the same number of students, which are 40, the median will still be the 20th score. 
So the 28 score. Therefore, the median is equal to 6. Median is 6. Now, let's find out what the mode is. The mode is the score which occurs most frequent or with the highest score. In this case, our mode is 7 because 7 has the highest frequency of 9. So mode in this distribution is 7. Now, let's see whether this is leaning to the right or leaning to the left. I'm going to put a dot in the middle of the bus and I'll join these dots with a straight line and see okay how this graph would look like okay now from this we can see that this is leaning to the right okay this graph is leaning to the right so this is a negatively skewed graph negatively skewed graph Okay, a negatively skewed graph, the mean is less than the median and the mode. Okay, the median is 6 and the mode is 7, which is greater than the mean. Now, from these three classes, we can see what the distribution of the graphs would look like. When the mean, median, and the mode is almost the same, the graph is equally distributed. When the mean is greater than the mean, median, and the mode, it is skewed to the left, or it is skewed to the left, or leaning to the left, and it is a positively skewed graph. When the median when the mean is less than the median and the mode, it is leaning to the right, and that is a negatively skewed graph. Okay, I think that brings us to the end of our lesson. Hope you have learned um, something about the distribution of the graphs using the median, mean, and the mode. That brings us to the end of our lesson. In our next lesson, we are going to look at... Um, the measures of spread, how the uh, scores are distributed. Thank you.